Hello, hello, Virgo. This is all right. I am going to do the reading for February the 17th through the 24th, 2023. This is not going to resonate with everyone, so please do not get mad if this is not your story. It's going to be for the sun, the moon, Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, and Virgo. Spirit of the earth, water, fire, and air. Show me the cards I need to see and speak for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? February the 17th through the 24th, 2023. What does Virgo need to know? Oh, we have family room number 21. And we have marriage number three. What else for Virgo? Tour and labor. And we have courtship number four. All right. Family room. Spirit. Why this card is here for Virgo. Family room number 21. Spirit of the earth, water, fire, and air. Why is this family room is here for Virgo? a new beginning here. Two is all about partnership, deep in attraction for someone. New beginnings. You're going to have some kind of new beginning with someone that you have some kind of deep in attra uh, deep, attraction, uh, attraction with. Could be a Leo or Cancer or someone that you want to give all your attention to or somebody want to give you the attention to you. Because this is one could be feeling their repercussions of the action because they could have lied to you. First could have stole you. That person could have been acting very Deceitful toward you. This is someone that didn't want to meet up with you. Didn't want to have no meeting with you. Or this is one do not want to be up and down with you anymore. This person won't want to move to come with waters with you. This is the one that want to put a lot of time and energy and sweat into this relationship with you. Yeah, this is one that could have ghost you and made some kind of decision. Because of someone they wanted an opportunity with. Mm, but that person ends up being very toxic. Okay, some of you guys could have been dealing with... Dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, and Aries, a Virgo, a Taurus, and Aquarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Leo, Leo or Cancer. All right, marriage, number three. Three is about growth, decision, or change. Tell me more about this marriage, number three. Why this card is here for Virgo, marriage, number three. About the change in your marriage or if you're not married to someone someone is going to pop the question someone wants to propose to you this is something someone this is something you don't know about someone wants to propose to you that this person wants to marry you yep this person is growing up this is one that wants to spend a lot of, uh, this is something this person been planning to propose to you. This is something this person been planning all by themselves? Or the person uh, planning something with a Virgo? With another Virgo? This is someone that tried to block their feelings for you? Yeah, now this is one that's making some kind of decision. It was not easy for this person to make it. Because this person is feeling guilty, feeling ashamed because of something they have done to you. Because of someone they had a lot of passion for. They don't trust this person anymore. <laughs> yeah, they, this will cause this ending. They stop, they don't trust this person no more. This will cause that ending. Now this person come back want to fight for you and marry you. Because they're going to see you as they wish fulfillment. This is something that might make you cry. This person could because this person been manifesting you back into their life. They want to give you all the attention because this person feels their repercussions of their action because they lied to you and put your relationship on hold because of an empress. 
Hmm. Oh, but this is someone that could have got someone pregnant. Hmm. Oh, this could be the baby mama's. Uh -huh. All right. This person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, a Pisces, an Aquarius, a Leo, Leo, Cancer, Gemini. I see a new person here. Or oh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, um, Younger, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Younger, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sagittarius, Libra, Libra, Virgo, Taurus, Scorpio, Libra, Pisces, Pisces, and Aquarius. All right, tour and labor. Some of you guys feel like you're working yourself to the bone. Yeah, so you feel like you just, you feel like you're doing everything at the job. Some of you guys feel like you've been working yourself to the bone. This is a place that you're making a lot of sacrifices. And you don't trust people there. You feel like people are always watching you. This is a place that you put a lot of time and energy and money. Put a lot of sweat into what you do for work. But you feel like it's something that's coming to an end. Some of you guys might need to talk to an attorney. Or some of you guys want to talk to someone about this. But you got some message of good news coming in. You got some message of good news. Coming in. You might have to move. You might have to travel. But this decision is going to be very difficult for you guys to make. Because you're feeling betrayed right now. Because of some kind of decision someone made for you. Because they want you to leave. Hmm. But you're going to get this victory. I see a lot of money here. You're going to get some kind of victory. Some of you guys might start a new project. Some of you guys might get a new job. Some of you guys going to uh, uh, purchase a home. Or some of you guys going to win a lottery. Some of you guys going to start a, a new investment. This is something that could stress you out. This is something going to keep you all in your head. But your luck is about to change. You just have to temper yourself. But this is something going to make you very independent. Several line increasing in wealth. But this is something you're probably going to be indecisive about this. I see court. I see courtship number four. Why this card is here? Courtship number four. Why this card is here for Virgo? Courtship number four. Four is about stability, structure. Tell me more about this courtship number four. Hmm. Someone is feeling their repercussions of their actions because they was acting like a player. This is the one that wants to equal give and take with you now. This is the one that try to use every trick in the book to get you back. This could be a new person or this is an ex. This person could be heartbroken right now because of someone else they saw a future with. Oh, this person could have broke your heart because of someone else they saw a future with. And this person does not want this ending with you. Because you guys have a child together. Oh, this person has a child. That person don't want this ending with you. This person see you as a missed opportunity. This is someone that's not going to let you go. This person feels very burdened and burnt out. That person feels like they have a lot of obligations. But this is someone that's making some kind of plans with you. Yeah, this person trying to balance themselves. But this person afraid that you in the Queen of Sword energy, you might not, you might cut this person out of your life. That person afraid. Yeah, because that person feel like you're not gonna trust them anymore. Because of this ending that you guys have had. Because this person wanted to talk to someone else. They started dating someone else. But that person, that's why that person could have closed out the cycle with you. Yeah, this person could have been up and down with you. This is one going to be looking back when that person had made you sad. But this person going to need some kind of courage here. Because this person do definitely want to walk away from you. Because they do see you as someone grounded and loyal, very dependable. And you, and you get the job done. Hmm. All right. Virgo, if you're new to my channel, hey, hit that like button. Hit that notification. You'll know when I'm on. If you need a personal reading for me, all the information is down below in the description box. Until next time, you guys. Bye-bye.